It was a corruption scandal of epic proportions. Malaysian defense contractor Leonard Francis used U.S. Navy officers to steer ships to his ports in the Western Pacific, greasing the wheels with gifts, sex workers, and lavish parties with scantily clad women. Vice Admiral Craig Fowler attended at least one party as a ship's captain. Senator Elizabeth Warren pressed him about it during a confirmation hearing in 2018. What do you say to women officers when they see that this is the kind of event you have attended? Senator, I have always had the utmost respect for all servicemen and women. The Navy cleared Fowler and other officers of wrongdoing. Francis pleaded guilty in 2015 to defrauding the Navy of at least $35 million. Dan Grazer is with the Project on Government Oversight. He says hundreds of officers watch Francis, widely known as Fat Leonard for his size, lay out the red carpet. It just became kind of the way business was done within the Seventh Fleet. And, you know, the longer it went on, the more people got involved in it and the more normalized that behavior became. And so we ended up with a massive scandal that we we have. Among the Navy officials on Francis's payroll was an agent for the Navy's criminal service who pleaded guilty to taking bribes to keep Francis up to date on the Navy's own investigations. Still, Senator Warren's exchange is one of only a handful of times the so-called Fat Leonard cases come up on Capitol Hill during the decade-long probe. Again, Dan Grazer. And it's shocking how, how little people even today in Washington uh, really even know about Fat Leonard. So it rarely makes the news here. Once the scandal broke, the Navy took away some of the authority officers have to decide which ports to use. Though the Navy tightened up the paperwork, it hasn't taken a hard look at the underlying culture which allowed officers to condone the party atmosphere. Pauline Chanks Corinne teaches ethics at the Naval War College. It's not something, at least in my circles, that the Navy is talking a lot about. And so I'm not sure that we've learned the lessons or have thought about what this means for Navy culture. Francis was arrested in San Diego in 2013. But Pauline Shanks Corinne says the War College still hasn't incorporated a case study about the massive bribery scandal into its ethics curriculum. One senior leader said to me, listen, like, I know people who were involved. Um, and I've heard from other uh, senior leaders things like, well, I had a, you know, a friend, a good friend whose career was ruined because of this. And. You know, so I think there's just a real people don't want to talk about it. When students talk about it in class, they talk about different spanks for different ranks. The notion that higher ranking officers were treated differently. Ron Carr, a retired Navy captain, says the case cast a long shadow over everyone who served in the Pacific during the 2000s and early 2010s. It really has put mud uh, for all of us who who were not involved with this because there's always that assumption that potentially maybe we just didn't get caught. Carr was a logistics officer on board the USS Blue Ridge. As the flagship for the U.S. Pacific Fleet, the Blue Ridge was at the center of the federal indictments. Given the size of the problem, Carr is disappointed that the Fat Leonard case didn't shine a brighter light on Navy corruption. I think the challenge uh, from a publicity point of view is that it just dragged out for so long. Here we are having this conversation when he was arrested uh, nine years ago. Nearly a decade later, as the Fat Leonard case draws to a close, it's still unclear how much the scandal has changed Navy culture. Steve Walsh, KPBS News.